Well, the most important thing every school, every person, every family should do is love the kids. The kids are just kids and they grow up the way they grow up because of all kinds of things that happen. So our first rule is we love the kids. Second rule is the kids are the customer. Whether they're paying us or not, we owe a responsibility to what happens to that child today, tomorrow, in the future. I, I feel like the future of a child reflects what happened in school. I mean, we all have stories about one teacher changing our life. And um, I think teachers are the most important people on the planet, but they've got to completely focus on the kid, not on their teaching style, not on what they're doing up on the board, but what does that child need today, right now, so that eventually they can become a success. Let me add a sentence that I remember from Trish early on. And it's a sentence that should make everybody, rich and poor, in the same camp with both faith and hope and worries. And she said, if we can't reach these kids, we're going to lose our country. And, and this is happening in, in uh, an exponential way right now in Detroit and Chicago. They have kicked kids out that couldn't get high test scores over and over and over to where the kids have taken over the towns. And, you know, why do we think that can't keep going that way if we don't take care of these children? What are they going to do when they don't have anything to eat or anywhere to sleep that's safe? They're going to run around like a crazy person. Even the privileged ones, referring back to one of the most memorable statements that Franklin Wright ever said for me, he would talk about these people in power. They have been educated beyond their capacity to understand. Yeah. And so if you don't have understanding, and I don't care how many degrees you have, or what your official place is in the world. I think we have a world in trouble and we have a lot of officials who maybe someday will be replaced with starshine kids uh, to rescue it.